Right, so this is the second video for the header dies. We're going to have a look at cutting the sides now. So we've done the top, so this is the result from the first video. So we've got that beautiful detailing on the top. But now we want to cut the side panels, okay? So with the side panels, I like to do it the opposite way round to what you would normally associate with how I cut dies. I like to start with my pattern first. So that's the pattern die there. Now the reason I like to start with the pattern die is if I cut the outside edge first and I've actually got it in the wrong situ, I will end up cutting into this design work here. So by doing it the design die first, I can align all the areas that I want aligned. So I'm going to take my pattern die and I'm going to bring it across and I don't want that section to overlap that section there. So I'm just going to bring it to where I want it. So I'm literally just touching that panel there. I'm about a centimetre away from the top. I'm level all the way down and I tape it down. And we're then going to cut that through the machine. So top plate on and all the way through the machine. So that is going to cut the detail, but the other side of the card will still be intact. So you could leave it intact if you wanted to, or if you want the outside edge, we'll have a look at that as well. So let's take that die away. Let's tap all those little pieces out. They're all loose. They will all come away. And you get your beautiful design work. Let's move all that in the side of your cardstock. So if you wanted to leave it in the cardstock, you, you could, and you would get that sort of effect, okay? But I want to take it away. So let's place the outside edge on. So I've got my tape on there. Let's just make sure you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. And place this one in situ. So I'm just making sure that we are equal all the way round before I tape it down. So once that's taped, we're going to run that through the machine as well. So this is going to cut the outside edge, all the way through there. Take our plate away, take that die off. Just be a little bit careful when you're taking the tape away like so. So that's cut that panel out of the cardstock. Okay, so we're going to repeat that on the other side now. So clean your die, make sure there's no waste in there. Take your die, place it on so it's nice and level, same distance from the top, slightly overlapping just there like we did on the other side. Tape it down, place it on the plate, Place the top one on and run that through the machine as well. So this is going to cut the opposite side exactly the same. So when that's all the way through, we are then going to place the outside edge in. Let's take that die away. Just remove those little sections there. We're going to place the outside edge in situ. Always make sure, on, on this die though, before you use it, make sure you do take that surplus card away, okay? Place it on, centralise it all so it's equal all the way round, tape it down, put the top back on and run that through the machine as well. So by doing it this way, it allows me to be able to align all those cut lines up. So you're basically not cutting that top seg segment off. Because if you bring this die too close to this score line, it's going to cut that score line. And therefore your card is going to fall to pieces. It's not going to stay like, like a card. It'll just be a frontage. So take that one away. So you've got your outside edge. So what I do now is I take my scissors... And I'm just going to come in and snip there. I also just snip that bottom segment there. Like so. And then that one off there. And therefore, when you fold it up, 
you get your beautiful design card. So if I just take a piece of coloured card, let me just find a piece of coloured card for you, and place that one in the back, you can now see that you've got all that beautiful design work gorgeously in your card frontage. Now if you want to cut your back exactly the same shape, this is what you're going to do. You're going to place your die back on the top. Take your tape off though because you're going to stick it in a different place. So tape, take your die and you're going to use the previous design work as a guideline and you're going to tape that down. Now very gently ease your design work away. Oh we've stuck it to the board. Let's start again. Take the tape off. Align your design work up like so and tape it down. Let me just hold that a minute. Slide that design away and let's just take that other piece of tape and place it in there. Now open your card up and then run that back through your machine. So this is going to cut your back panel exactly the same as your front panel. So now when we take that die away, like so, we can then fold this over the back will be the same as the front. You need to trim off those pieces like we did on the previous one. And you will find that your back of your card is exactly the same as your front. So when we hold, let me see if I can get back closer to you. There we go, that's better. You can see you can have the back the same as your front. You can then go in here and take off that bit there so your whole card now is built all the detail cuts in situ so you can have it full back if you want the colour shine shining through if you want exactly the same back as the front of your card just place that die on the side there so any problems please contact me and I'll help you as much as I can